Hey guys, KCV here. We know it's under lockdown. Obviously, we can't meet. However, I'm going to send you a message to let you know that we can meet. Hey guys, KCV here. We know it's under lockdown. Obviously, we can't meet. However, who said we can't have a virtual studio? You right there, Steve? Yeah, I'm fine. Coming from you. your bedroom? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. How you been getting on? Because they've been concerned about you. I'm um, good. Uh, just been out in my garden. Like, since there's nothing else to do. Normally you wouldn't be out there. Yeah. I'd be out and about and other stuff. Walking about. basically. <laughs> But then again, you don't want to get it. No. And at no. first, me and Steve weren't thinking it was serious. We were just thinking, yeah, it'll, it'll pass and it'll, be, it'll end up being nothing. It does now, but it, we, it did increase quickly. Yeah, we, me and Steve initially thought, yeah, it's just overreacting. But seriously, it's actually so serious, isn't it? Mm. It's super serious and it's so, such a dangerous disease. Yeah, so if you're, so if you're already, just stay indoors and stay safe. Don't be one of them fucks that go um go spitting on people. Yeah. Have you heard that? Um, yeah, I've seen it on the news. Old person really. getting spit on. Yeah, it's not very nice to these people. Nope. Trying to keep people safe. And they 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 find it funny. I mean, there was one spitting at NHS workers, weren't there? Hmm. They were spitting at NHS workers. Have you seen on the news NHS people in, like they're treating people and they're getting it and they're like you know they're basically risking their life. How do you feel about the people who have lost their lives to it? I feel that bad for their family. Yeah, I feel very yeah. sorry. It's like yeah. imagine getting a call that your nan's died of COVID. Mm. And I, and I know I know at first it was one big joke. It was. People were saying, what were people saying in your college about it? Oh, they just, uh, they were just making jokes about it. Saying, oh, they just don't care about it. I was like, oh, so you wouldn't say that if, um, like, someone of your, some of your family got it, would you? Nope. And I know you have said in the past, you hope your nan, get, your nan gets it, but you don't really mean that, do you? No. See? I, I, I've, I've said that, and I don't want anyone in my family to get it. Because the minute it's entered your house, you could have it. Yeah. So if one of your family members get it, your whole house could become infected. Yeah. It's it's awful. It really is terrible. It is ridiculous. Yep. But how how you been living lockdown? Oh, just doing well. You do. Maybe not stuck in that I've been refurbishing my bedroom in case you didn't know. Maybe if you check the video a couple of years ago you'll see this. And I'm sure Stephen's seen this on Snapchat. There's a layer of vinyl wrap on the desk. To make it better. We still have spare material here. So yeah. There isn't really a lot going on. There's just you been playing on the Xbox all your time, haven't you? But he's only doing that. To remove boredom, aren't you? It's just boring. Yep. Like, so I want to get other like this games. I want to get on my Xbox, but like once the lockdown's out, it's over. And you don't want to go to Bex the Eve, do you? No, I don't want to go anywhere really. Well, I'm going to have trouble after lockdown, so apparently they won't be switching have lifts off. Surviving. It is, it's, it's like a case of survival, isn't it? It is. It's a live or die situation. If you don't stay in, it's it's so scary. When you go out, it doesn't feel normal. You look down the streets and they're pretty much... You're just getting people to two metres off from each other how much it was. Have you been down Eltham recently or um, or Wellen? No, I mean, I not at all. I went once to my aunt's and the roads were quiet. Yep. It's weird. But the the thing I did see is apparently now you can get free bus rides. Mm. If you can get free bus rides out of lockdown, me and Steve would be in heaven because you'll we'd we'll be able to jump on buses for free and just ride on them. But yeah. we're not risking it. 
you have to play as one game. It's like there's take off the front, there's make sure you don't get on the front, and you have to get on the back so you don't pass the drivers. Yep, because one driver died, or uh, four have died, haven't they? Mm. Yeah. And it didn't seem that much because I remember reading the first news report saying that the first person in the UK has died of coronavirus. And now it's absolutely plummeted to about 21,000 yeah. we're at, are we? Yeah, I reckon. How many uh, deaths are we at now, roughly? Oh, I reckon... I don't actually know. 20, 21,000 or something? Yeah. You know, uh, uh, it is quite shocking. Yep. Let me just Google it now. Go well, on, you can read it out, the death toll. Hang on. I've still got this up a second. I'm backing up this up. Oh, apparently. It's quite a lot. Over two seconds. Yeah. Obviously there is a lot of concerns about this guys because there's COVID-19 more severe than the flu which is, it's, it's horrible. Stephen's going to read up the death toll when he gets the information. It's quite surprising how many it was. Right, so it is. Confirmed case, well, deaths, 29,427. Wow, that really just shows you. Uh, about five days ago, it was um, it was about twenty thousand. And you know what's really scary about this thing as well? You think it gets better. You hear of six hundred deaths a day, then all of a sudden you hear of four hundred, and you think, oh, we're finally getting better. Then all of a sudden it goes up, don't it? Yeah. I know we're past the um the um what is it? We're past something now. We're past the peak of it, but we're not at the same time because we're still, we're still at risk. Yeah, we're still, right. We're still ready. Yep, and I don't think there's no cure until we have a vaccine. That's, that's the only way, because I ain't feeling safe to go anywhere, regardless if we're out of lockdown. I'm not going on the bus. Oh, wow. You know, I mean, I'll walk around the local area with you and that, and you can come around here, but mm. that'll be the only thing we can do. Yeah. It's horrible though, like, where would be, where would we have been now today, probably? Mm. Where would we be? Quite a lot of places. Bromley, Alpington, Heath, mm. anywhere. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's. Oh my god. Post lockdown rules. Oh. Everyone's asking when there's a lockdown. Mm. Uh, hopefully, oh. there, there is light at the end of the tunnel, though. Yeah. You know, I, I don't like going out to shops to buy things. And if I do buy anything, it, it's essential. I mean, I've been spending the time refurbishing the bedroom, but 90% yeah. of the stuff I've had. Is um, is stuff that was laying around the house before, just put in. Like recently, built myself a lamp to kill lockdown, but that was done out of parts that were laying about in the house. Why don't you go and sell something, Steve, or draw something? Mm. I've got a few all my drawers in my room. Well, that's good. He, he did say he was going to refurbish his room, so. Yeah, I'm still working on that. Still but as you can see. If in the next couple of years go look at this wall there, the picture behind him. Show show your room quickly. What's changed? What's changed? Since the last video like this. It was like 2018. Go on, show us the changes. My whole room has changed. Cool new wallpaper that you put in a couple of years ago. Let's just change my whole room now. I've got a brand new TV. Yep, well, because what happened to the other one? I don't know. 
I do have them too. <laughs> it's probably not a boat. <laughs> did it actually break or did something go through it? I don't know. <laughs> Stephen's broke so many TVs. Mm -hmm. Haven't you? Mm -hmm. How many TVs mm -hmm. you broke? Seven, eight? Yeah. Bloody hell. Would you be able to break a brick TV with your, with your bare hands? Like a fat TV? Yeah. Mm. Or would you need no. an hammer for that one? I don't understand. I think it's glassy. Mm. <sighs> He's broke. I know, I know he had a flat screen that he smashed out. Smashed out. My whole, my whole house changed. Yep, his house was under refurbishment just before the lockdown. And yeah, yep. I'm trying to shift my mum to refurbish the house because we've got nothing to do and things need to be repaired here. You know, the lights in our bathroom, Stephen, they're going loose, they're starting to break down from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So I need to go up there and replace it, but I can't with no PJs, can I? You know, I want to, and if I get parts, it's only from Screwfix. Mm. And normally when I do this stuff, I travel free fully. Ah, oh, and I just miss the bin. I just miss Barry. Right behind the bin. But the thing is, no one cares about Barry. Yeah, but I have not been that good of it. I've just been, I do not like it at all. I've brought myself some new stuff because May 1st is my birthday. Mm -hmm. This is one of the new additions mm -hmm. and you'll notice how there's two flat screen monitors here of the same brand and type. This is the old one. This is the new one, AOC LED E227 OAW OSW and yeah we just mm -hmm. got everything going on Yep. Nope, I've been... I want to go up to Bexy Eve as bad as you do. I want to be free. I don't feel right when I go out for a walk. It doesn't... I don't go out for a walk. And if I do, I don't feel normal. I don't stay out for long. Put it that way. You know, it's horrible. Mm. I'm just hoping a vaccine gets developed. At the beginning of the year, I thought it wasn't going to develop as bad as I thought. I thought, no, nah, it's just going to turn into this, that. And it isn't, it isn't going to do much. But when you look, it has actually done so much damage and destruction. Yeah. You know. Think. Yep. Oh, coronavirus vaccine could be developed, tested, and manufactured in Australia within 10 months. See, 10 months. That could be 10 months of in and out lockdown, 10 months of social distancing. I mean, it's May now, so we could be getting back to normal about October, November time. By the time that me and Stephen could have went up to Bexy Eve, Blue Water, to do some videos in nice warm weather. By the time we get out of lockdown and actually do a video together in terms of normal, 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 because I'm hoping we can get out of lockdown soon so I can meet up with Stephen around the local area and do a few videos with him around, I don't know, Ox's Woods maybe. Uh, do you got any parks near your house or any alleyways or something? Oh, you've got loads of alleyways, haven't you? Oh. They're stinging nettles down his alleyway, guys. It's awful. I've always been stung once. Oh, imagine falling over into it. Oh. Stephen's alleyways go on and on, though. Like, you cannot... You go down them, and there's always some turning that you ain't explored. Mm. I reckon at some point we need to do a full urban exploration around your area to see what... Yeah. Or to see how many alleyways there are. Because I'm not talking go down, go down from your road, but I'm talking go a few roads down from your road, like 
by that bridge a few a few blocks away because I reckon there's a lot to explore there and because we're not down we'll be losing some weight put it that way well we yeah. we'll be losing weight but still are you looking forward to meeting up again yeah I want to wake up in the morning just like everyone and it'd be gone but I sadly it won't happen like that will it but like we were saying, there are ways of dealing with it, like, this is why I've cleaned up my room so much, and I actually have a problem with them stupid, um, silver worms. Do you know what they are, Stephen? Silver fish? They're stupid little things that come in the room. They like damp, humid conditions, so the only way of doing, dealing with that is to fix the damp issue by replacing the vent, and, um, and replacing the carpet, because it's so old place the carpet and fill any dirt in, fill any holes in with um with wood filler. That's probably the only solution I can think of. Mm. And then and then put we I'm probably installing carpet tiles in here and that will come to a grand cost of ninety five pounds roughly because we're getting carpets mm. and we're also buying gloss paint to fix the door. So mm. yeah. But it will look nice and I'm sure Stephen's gonna get a shock next time you walk in here aren't you? You're going to come in here, see new carpet, see this, see that, new scales, everything's going to be redeemed. His room's all shiny, no. And you've looked after it, haven't you? You used to absolutely trash the place, but that's what I'm doing. I'm starting to look after the place now. I've just, I've applied this to my furniture, this vinyl wrap, to um, nearly all my furniture in my bedroom, to freshen it up without buying new furniture. So that's one of the things I've been after. And yeah, just be safe. There's an update from me and Stephen on the coronavirus and the opinions. Go on, Steve, what do you want to say to the camera? Thanks for thinking of me, all of you that support, and now I'm safe with you all now. Stay home. Yeah, and stay safe. Yep, right, well, that's it now. Bye, guys.